What's up guys, this is Josh and welcome to a fresh video. Super duper excited to cover this topic because this is gonna be a super good one because we're talking about Google Ads conversion tracking. So what do I mean by that? Google Ads conversion tracking is pretty similar to Facebook Pixel. If you haven't watched uh, my Facebook Pixel conversion tracking video, click right here and go ahead and watch it because that's gonna help you out if you're running any kinds of Facebook ads or uh, click right here for Snapchat Pixel and uh, conversion tracking video because that's gonna help you uh, run those ads profitably. And in today's video, we're gonna go over Google ads conversion tracking pixel and what that simply means is when you run ads on Google you want to track which ads are working which ads are not working and give that data into Google so Google can learn from your data and do all the good stuff so uh, in today's video we will not be using the Google tag manager we will be just using the code and pasting it inside of the HTML part of our website to make it easy this is the easiest way the quickest way actually to go for it and then we could always do the tag manager one go into the comment section tell me if you'd rather also want me to do a tag manager video and we could do that in the coming weeks so let's jump right into it and roll the intro right now what we have is my computer screen me and the camera so let's record this so number one what you're looking at right now is that I am in my Google Ads account and this is a fake account I've just made so we're simply gonna go and click on this wrench icon in the top right hand side click here and it's gonna say measurement and conversions click on the conversions and we're not gonna waste any time in this video we're gonna go real real fast guys so this is what you're gonna see if you haven't set any pixels or any conversion trackers hit plus conversions and boom then it's gonna ask you what do you want to really track is it an event that happens on the website is there something that happens on the app is it the phone calls you want to track or is there anything that you want to actually track from the Google Analytics or something that you want to import so we're gonna click website on this and then it's gonna be like, is it a purchase, lead, page view, sign up, others. So we're gonna kind of, we're gonna do three kinds of conversions today. One is add to cart, and number two is checkout, and number three is just page view. So let's start with page view first. Click on page view, put page view, Shopify, or whatever you wanna name it like. And then use the same value for each conversion is what we're gonna say for this one, and we're gonna kind of give it a dollar value. And then what do you want to track every or one so I do recommend doing every uh, just just because you know how many pages people are being viewing with that ads and it actually gives you a better information what's a conversion window we're gonna reduce that to uh, say a week because you want to see after a click how much how what happened within the week of that so that and then view through conversions window one day including conversions yes everything gonna include in conversions for right now and when you make ads you could choose which conversion you want to optimize your ads for attribution model is last click actually one two three four five six different kinds of models data driven that is only possible when you have some data then it's last click meaning all the credit goes to the last click of the ad or wherever the ad, whichever ad was the last clicked ad that gave you the conversion all the credit's gonna go there first click is the first click on the ad gives gets the credit so if someone clicked on the ad on Monday but converted on Thursday uh, by clicking on your ad again the Thursday ad would not get any credit or instead it'll get credit on the Monday ad things that nature linear meaning it gets divided equally into everything and time decay is uh, more like uh as the time progresses, it gives a credit based on what they've done. Then position based, what it does, it gives 40% credit to the first day, the 40% credit on the last day, and then 20% credit in the middle of the days. So it's a more significant way. I like to do last click just so it keeps me on board. Hit create and continue, super duper simple from here on. Then it's gonna give you three options to do it. Number one, install the tag yourself, which is what we're gonna really do. But you could also email the tag to a developer and get it done. But hey, we guys are hustlers here, so we're gonna do it ourselves. And then the third one is using the Google Tag Manager. We're not going to use this step, but this is one of the amazing steps that you could do. We're going to do another video in the coming week discussing how to install Google Tag Manager into your Shopify store. But before that's done, we're going to go into the install tag yourself. Click on this and then be like, okay, what kind of tag do you want to install? Choose HTML, choose the Google side, ta Google side tag is installed on your HTML page and you're going to install it. Download the snippet, open this tag and then take this code and hit command C on a Mac, control C on a Windows. Then go back into your thing. When do you want it to load is what it's asking. So you want it to load when it's page loads, right? So if the page loads, you want the conversion tracking pixel to fire. So hit next. 
and boom, you set a page view Shopify conversion action and auto tagging was enabled. Boom, done. So now it's done, right? And you'll be like, wow, it's gonna start tracking. But no, you have set up the conversion tracker inside of your Google Ads, but you haven't actually linked that to anything on your website. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna hurry down into our Shopify store, which is right here. I'm looking at one of my stores, which is not the crazy one. So we're gonna go and click on online store right here. Once you click onto the online store, I'm gonna hide this site on the right hand side. I just won't want you to know what it is. But then you go into themes and click on actions and go to edit code. Let it load. And now you see your theme files, right? So go into the right, uh, on to the left hand side where you see layout, go into theme.liquid. And then what you're gonna do is simply come into head, hit space, and then insert this code right here hit space just to make some room. So right here is your code that you've just pasted. And why we've pasted into the theme.liquid part is because theme.liquid fires every time there's a page view. So regardless of what happens, someone has to view the page, right? And this tracking pixel fires every time any page on your website is viewed because theme.liquid code is actually triggered every time anyone views any page on your website. So that's good to go, hit save. And boom, your asset is saved and you're ready to go. And boom, you're all set up. Now you don't have to worry about anything and this uh, tracker pixel is set to go. But now you also wanna track your uh, add to cart. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go here, plus, hit website, same step, what do you wanna do? Now you're gonna click other and Maybe put lead or put purchase, it depends on you. I, I like to put other here because I wanna name it. So I'm gonna put add to cart and only if I could spell it add to cart, Shopify, boom. Now, use the same value for each conversion again, but I'm gonna value it a little bit higher than just page view. Say page view is a dollar, add to cart is five. It's just average numbers. You're ready to go. Then what do you wanna count every or one? We wanna count every. Conversion window 30, la 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 la. Last click, create and continue. And then again, click install the tag yourself. Guys, if any point with, uh, during this video you feel I'm going too fast, then go ahead and hit that little wrench sign on the YouTube button and uh, lower the speed or pause and go and do these steps. I wanna go fast, so if someone knows it, they could go run right through this project, but if they don't, they could spend their time. I'm not trying to take too much of your time covering this topic because this topic is very important and I don't want it to take too long because if you're catching up, great. If you're not, so slow the volume, I mean slow the speed of it and then catch up with me right then. And then hit download snippet on this the same way then it's going to load up the new tag you kind of copy that and boom you're ready to go you copy that and you're going to do the same thing go to google chrome go into your code now you are in your code what you're going to do you're going to look for uh, a template underneath templates on the left you're going to go and click on cart.liquid click and boom right over here at the bottom they're going to go here at the bottom and paste this code so right after the last div block that you have here you're just going to add this little code and hit save once you do that, boom, now it's gonna fire every time there's an add to cart or the cart page is viewed. It's this, uh, this way is not gonna track any clicks because you have to install the Google Tag Manager in order to actually do it properly and perfectly. So we're skipping that. This is just the preliminary way of doing it. So if you wanna actually do the detailed version, then you have to go through. Add, if you wanna do a, a detailed version, we have to do it through the Google Tag Manager. This is more when something is added to the cart or a page is loaded. That being said, now we are gonna go into our code, this is set to go, everything is saved. So now two of your things are set to go. And now we're not gonna come back into the code of the Shopify store and we're set to go uh, to just install our last part of the code, which is the conversion tracking. We're gonna hit next on this and hit done. So now add to cart and page view is done. Now the last one, the most important one is the conversion tracking for the actual sale. So you're gonna click here, click on purchase right here and do purchase. Why can't I spell today? And do Shopify, boom, boom, perfect. Now, uh, use different values for each conversion can be done, but we're really not gonna add this code. This actually takes in the value from the checkout process, picks up exact value, and then go from there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the same value and put say $20, put an average price of your, uh, your item that you have on your store to go with, and then count every purchase that happens, leave a 30 day conversion window, everything looks good, hit create and continue. Now ins install the tag yourself, HTML, boom, and now you're gonna copy the download snippet 
it's going to open this code right here. You're going to copy it by clicking Command C on a Mac and Control C on Windows. Go back right here and boom, you're here. But this time, we're not going to go inside any of the codes because if you're not using the premium version of Shopify called Shopify, Plus, if you're not using Shopify Plus, you're not gonna be able to get to the checkout process or the checkout part in the code. So you, what you have to do is to go hit settings on the left hand side corner, let it load. And then you're gonna go into the checkout right here under settings and then scroll, scroll, scroll until you reach these additional scripts. Over here, I already have it from the other account, but what you're gonna do is there's gonna be empty. This is gonna be empty for you. You go ahead and just paste whatever you had and hit save and you're good to go. So guys, this is a way how you can attract these three different things on your own Shopify store. If you have any questions of any sort, go into the comment section and just type it down and I'm gonna make sure I reply because I read every comment. And if you like this video, just smash that like button because I really do appreciate that and hey, don't leave this video or this channel without subscribing. If you haven't subscribed and watching without subscribing because tons of people watch these videos and then walk away without subscribing hey, and thank you so much for watching this video watch my other videos and just keep chilling and keep grinding man because it's going to take you far thank you so much for watching this video take care peace and go win this month thank you so much take care